Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's talk about saved searches and how they can be a great enhancement to your Finder sidebar. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 700 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a saved search is just like doing a regular search in the Finder but you can go back to it without having to enter in all the search criteria again. And you could do that with a single click. Now it doesn't sound too exciting by itself but once you see it in action you realize how much it can increase your productivity. So for instance let's do a search. When you start a search in the Finder you want to make sure that you're in the right location to begin with. So in this case I'm in my Documents folder. That's exactly where I want to do this search. Now normally I would click here and start typing something in the search field. But if I want to search for something like a kind of file it's better to use File Find or Command F to start. That skips over the search field and brings you right to some sort of search criteria here. The default is Kind as Any which means all files. So all I need to do is type something here and I will start searching by keyword. But instead I can change from Kind as Any to Kind Is and then choose a type of file. Let's keep it simple and just choose PDF. This is going to find all of my PDF files saved in the Documents folder. Now to make this a saved search all I need to do is click the Save button here. So let's do that and see what happens. So I'll click it and you can see it asks me to save the saved search. It will default its location to a saved searches folder in the Library folder. Let's keep it there for now. Now let's name it something better than searching documents. We know what this is. This is all my PDFs in my document folder. So let's call this something simple like PDFs. Now before I save it let me make sure this Add to Sidebar is checked. I'll hit Save and it will do two things. It will save this as a file called PDFs.SavedSearch in that library folder. But more importantly it puts it here in the sidebar. Now anytime I want to see all the PDFs in my Documents folder all I need to do is click here. So let's say we're looking somewhere else. We're in Documents and we're looking in a folder here and we're moving on to the next task and we want to start off by looking at all our PDFs. I just click here and it instantly gives me that saved search. This is updated to the current moment so any PDFs I've added or removed since I created the saved search that's all going to be reflected here. I'm seeing the most up to date information. Not only that but the sort order is maintained. So here I'm using List View and I can do Date Modified for instance. Change it so the most recently modified file is at the top. Now if I go somewhere else like looking in my Documents folder, looking here, I can go into List View. I can sort by name here. You can see it sort by name or by size. Whatever it is if I go to PDFs you'll see it goes to Date Modified sorted with most recent. You could do it with any view. So I could actually go and say give me Icon View, uh, go to Sort By and let's say I want the last opened first. So now I can go somewhere else and be looking there and then say I want to go back to PDFs. You can see how it remembers. I want Icon View sorted in this particular way. Now remember the Finder sidebar appears in open dialog boxes. So that means if I'm in Preview here and I'm opening a file you'll see PDFs right there. I can click on that and now I can go and see the same search results here. Now you have some options here. I can control click here in the sidebar and I can do various things. One is I can show the search criteria. So bring it up as a search just like before. And now I can make changes and then hit Save and it will update that saved search. I can also control click and rename this. So if I want to change its name I can control click and remove from sidebar although it's still in that saved searches folder that we'll look at here in a second. I can add it to the doc and it appears in the right high end side of the doc now. You can see there's the PDFs. Now if I choose Show in Enclosing Folder it takes me to that saved searches folder in the library folder there. So now I can really delete it if I need to. I can select it and I can throw it away. I could also move it. I could put it anywhere I want on the desktop. I could put it in a special folder I've created. So if I have a lot of these and I don't want them to be in this library folder here I can really put them anywhere I want. Notice if I double click on this it will open it up in the Finder. So let's look at some more examples here. Let's say I want to see my most recently opened documents. That would be useful because chances are that's what I'm working with right now. So first let me go to where I want to start. In this case in my Documents folder is a good place. In this case my Documents folder is a good place. I could also just say all of my iCloud Drive if I want or my Home folder. Anywhere. Now let's go and do Command F to start a search. Instead of Kind 
let's say last open date. We can also do content modified date. If you don't see what you want here, choose other and you get a huge list of different search criteria. So we'll just do the last open date and then I'll say it is within the last, let's say 14 days. And now I can see all the file results there. Let's do it in list view. Let's sort it here by date last opened. If you don't see the column that you want, you can do command J and then you can add or remove different columns. So now we've got this sorted by date last open within the last 14 days. So now we can save this and this would be a convenient recents search here. So now I can see recents. I see all my most recently opened files. Now a more useful thing may be not to see all files but to actually see only documents or a specific type of document. So I'll control click here and I will show search criteria and then hit the plus button there to create another criteria for it. And let's say I want the kind is just documents. Or maybe I want to go and say just pages documents. So I can choose other here, type pages. Now I'll just see the pages documents that were last opened within 14 days. So I can hit save here. So now maybe I'd like to change the name here to recent pages. Now let's go and create another one. Now let's say I want to see all my pages documents. That could be useful as well. So I can start in my documents folder. I'll do command F for a search. I'll do kind is other and I'll say pages. And this will show me all my pages documents in my documents folder. So I can save this and I can say pages docs. Now the cool thing about that is that I can go into pages and when I go to open a new file I'll see it here on the left and I can conveniently select that and see all of my pages documents. Now let's say I wanted to see more than just pages documents. I wanted to see both pages and rich text documents. So let's go here and show search criteria and then I'm going to add another one here. It's going to be kind is and let's say text and we'll narrow it down to rich text. Now you see there's no results. Why? Because I'm asking for all documents that are both pages documents and rich text documents. Since files would be one or the other not both then I'm going to come up with no results. So what I can do here is see these plus buttons here to add new criteria. Instead I'm going to hold down the Option key and notice the plus buttons change to three dots. I'm going to click on that and it will come up with this here where it says any of the following are true and I can change it to any, all, or none. So you can really get complex with your searches. I could say okay, any of the following are true and I could drag these items under any. I don't need this default one here, name matches, so I'll hit the minus button there. So now it's any of the following are true, kind is pages or kind is rich text. And now I have a combination of my rich text document and my pages document. I'll save that and now pages docs will show me RTF files as well. Now there are all sorts of different things you can do with saved searches. For instance, here's something very different. Let's go to the applications folder and here are all my applications. Now let's do Command F to search in the Applications folder. I'm going to select Kind is Application because there may be things in your Applications folder that aren't applications. They're support files and things like that. So now I just see the .app files in my Applications folder. Let's add another criteria here and say last open date is within the last seven days. So only applications I've opened in the last seven days. It's a shorter list there. So let's save this out and we'll call it Apps. And now that's here in the left sidebar. Now it could be somewhere else and anytime I want to go and open an app I can go to Apps here and I could see and I even have it sorted by date last open all my apps. My most common ones will be at the top. You can control click and say Add to Dock and it's even more useful here in the Dock. Matter of fact if you control click on it you can change it so that it sorts by date last opened. And now of course you see the last open app is right there at the bottom the closest one to click on and then you have your most recent ones there. You could even change it to a list view and now you can click on it. And now in this view you have your most recent one at the top. An important thing to remember is that even though smart searches kind of feel like folders, they even look like folders if you look at the icon, they're not folders. They're not locations. They're the results of a search. So you can use them to access files, to open files, to find files. But you can't use them as a location to save files because they're not really a location. They're search results. So you still want to think about where you want to save that pages document. But when you go to open it up it may be more convenient to actually use 
a saved search that shows you the most recent pages document. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.